Hands on the lob and Davis on the throwdown. The new look Lakers are back to being a powerhouse in the NBA Western Conference. They are 7-2 so far this season and have been led by two of the best players in the world in LeBron James and Anthony Davis. The biggest questions this offseason, how well will the duo work together and how long will it take them to get their chemistry on point? So far, they've answered those questions. LeBron has taken the helm as the floor general on offense and the Lakers made it clear from the start that they would have him running the point guard position on offense and James looks very comfortable in that role. While he is averaging around 26 points a game, it is his league leading 11 assists per game that stand out. James and Davis play off each other so well, it seems like they've been doing it for years. It was very complimentary earlier tonight. Talking about a lob underneath the alley. AD has been dominant inside this year, averaging 27 points and over 10 rebounds a game on about 50% shooting. I mean, look at this. He tells Spurs DeMar DeRozan he isn't old enough to sit at the big kid's table and backs him down for the easy hook. Another addition to the Lakers that's been key is eight-time All-Star Dwight Howard. Howard has come off the pine to contribute seven points and seven rebounds on almost 80% from the field. It looks like as the season continues, Howard's role on the team will grow. When you have two elite players like LeBron and AD, other players can get easy looks, like here when Howard cleans up the LeBron miss and dunks it in. We even have a Dwight Howard assist sighting as the Lakers' new offense under first-year coach Frank Vogel seems to be much more fluent than in the past. Here we see another example of attention being drawn to LeBron and AD, leaving Avery Bradley wide open for three. There's still a lot of basketball to be played, and if the Lakers want to play in June, they can't take any steps backwards. With your Laker update, this has been Dallas Jones, KBBG News.